Hey everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Android phone to automatically turn on the hotspot when you connect to the Bluetooth of your MK3, MK2, or really anything else in your car, or anywhere else for that matter. Uh, so to do this, you're going to need an app called Tasker, uh, and it looks like this. You can get it from the Play Store. Uh, its developer is amazing, so I highly recommend um, buying a version and supporting the developer. Uh, so once you go ahead and launch Tasker, you want to make sure that you're in the uh, Profiles tab, which is up here. Uh, so once you're in the Profiles tab, the, the idea and how Tasker works is your profiles basically act as triggers and then your tasks are what actually has to happen when the trigger condition is met. So the idea here is we're going to set up a trigger condition uh, that your phone is connected to the Bluetooth of your unit in your car and your task is going to be to turn on Wi-Fi when that condition is true and then turn off the hotspot uh, when the condition is no longer true. So in order to do that um, you need to go ahead and set up a profile by pressing this plus button at the bottom um, and then uh, you want to click state uh, and then scroll down to net and then uh, the actual trigger is going to be BT connected. So in order to do this, you need to know the Bluetooth name of your device that you're connecting to. So I named mine Q50 uh, MK3. Uh, so once you put that in, you don't need to worry about uh, you don't need to worry about the address or the invert. Uh, we just leave those blank. Uh, so we can just uh, go ahead and press this back button up here. Uh, so now that we've created the condition, we need to actually tell uh, Tasker what to do when that condition is met. So to do that, just go ahead and click New Task. Um, and then you have to give that task a name down here. So let's call it uh, Wi-Fi Hotspot on. It doesn't really matter what you call it here. Uh, so now we have uh, an action, uh, but the action is blank. It doesn't need to do anything, so Tasker helpfully tells us click the plus button to add an action, and the plus button is down here. So let's go ahead and click that. Uh, and the action that we want is to turn on our hotspot. So again, we scroll down to, uh, we scroll down to net, uh, and then here we want to scroll down to uh, Wi-Fi Tether. So then it, it, uh, it'll tell you that it may not work for every phone, so just be careful if it doesn't work for your phone. I'm sorry, I'm using the Pixel 2, the Google Pixel 2, and it works like a champ. Uh, so just go ahead and press OK. Uh, and then what uh, what you want to do is uh, it says set right now off. So we want to set our Wi-Fi tether to on. So we just go ahead and press this off button and select on. Uh, so you don't need to worry about anything else on this page. Mm. So just press the back button. Uh, so now we have a task, uh, we have a trigger, and we're almost all set. So just go ahead and, and press this back button once again. Uh, you'll be brought back to the main page uh, where you're just going to want to click this check mark. So just go ahead and do that. And uh, your Tasker profile is now active. So at this point, if you want to go to your car, uh, make sure it, it connects. Uh, you will see that when you connect to Bluetooth, your hotspot's going to turn on. But we want to do uh, one more thing and go one step further, which is that when your car disconnects from Bluetooth, we want your Wi-Fi hotspot to turn off and your Wi-Fi to turn on. And the reason why we want that is because uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot automatically turns off uh, the Wi-Fi functionality of your phone. Uh, so if you're walking in from your car into your house, you want your phone to automatically connect to your home's Wi-Fi, um, it's not going to be able to do that if the hotspot is still on. So. 
what we need to do is uh, we need to long press here. Um, so where it says right now Wi-Fi hotspot on, we want to long press and we want to add an exit task. And the idea with an exit task is what is tasker going to do when uh, this condition here is no longer active. So let's go to add exit task. Let's once again hit new task and let's name it down here. Uh, it doesn't, again, doesn't matter what you name it. I'm going to name it Wi-Fi hotspot off. And once again, we have a blank action. Let's go ahead and make it actually do something. Um, again, we want to scroll down to net. Uh, we want to scroll down to uh, Wi-Fi tether. Uh, it again warns us that it doesn't work, so just go ahead and press OK. Uh, and this time we want to set it to off, so we actually don't need to change anything on this page. Uh, so just press this back button. But here we actually need to add one more task, uh, because we want to turn your Wi-Fi on. So not the Wi-Fi hotspot, but the ability to connect to Wi-Fi networks. We want to turn that back on. So let's just go ahead and hit that plus. Uh, again, scroll down to net. Go this time to Wi-Fi instead of Wi-Fi tether like we did before. And we need to set Wi-Fi uh, to, uh, sorry, we need to set it to on. So let's do that. Again, you don't need to change anything else on this page. Uh, click the back button and you will now see that uh, your Wi-Fi tether turns off and your Wi-Fi turns on when you disconnect from Bluetooth. So now just go ahead and press this back button uh, and once again press this uh, check mark. And, and that is it and you're done. So go back to your card, test it and if you have any questions please feel free to post on the forum. Thank you.